Washington Journal continues. And at the uh, table, familiar face to uh, our viewers, Dr. Anthony Fauci, who is director of the National Institutes of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. Doctor, as we look at H1N1, or what some have called the, the swine, swine flu, flu. give right. us a sense of what the government here in this country, and the WHO, let's say, are, are expecting uh, this coming fall. Well, we know that the virus is here and it, and it spreads easily. Uh, we, we first noticed it in the spring in April in, here in the United States and the Southwest and Texas and in California and in Mexico. And then within a period of a few months, it went worldwide. So we know it's here and we know it's in, in a pandemic level. Uh, the interesting thing is that if you follow it vis-a-vis -vis its severity, it is acting uh, more like a mild to moderate flu if you compare it to the seasonal flus. So the expectation is, since we're still seeing outbreaks in camps and we're getting hit in the southern hemisphere, which is their winter, that it is highly likely, though these things are unpredictable, but I would say highly likely that when we get back to the early fall and the kids go back to school, that we're going to start to see a resurgence of it. How much, how intense, how severe, it's tough to say we are going to be prepared for that. Uh, in by a variety of ways, but we're expecting it and we're prepared for the worst. What's the preparation like? What has to happen? Well, there are several things. I mean, if you look at it, you talk about surveillance, which is one of the things, keeping an eye on what's going on in the, uh, in the uh, uh, Southern Hemisphere and here in our own summer, because it hasn't gone away. You're talking about the development of vaccines and the pre preparation of and getting ready to implement the vaccine program. In fact, just literally next week, uh, Monday and perhaps even today, we're going to start the vaccine trials. It'll give us an idea of what the right dose is, what the short-term safety is going to be. We want good communications, letting people know so that we're very transparent in the plans and good mitigation strategies uh, if we are hit hard. In fact, I might mention that the pandemic preparedness plan was developed a couple of years ago in preparation for the bird flu. Remember that, the H5N1, which luckily never came. So there's a fine tuning and implementation of that plan. So a lot of things are going on right now to prepare for what might happen in the fall. Phone number is on the bottom of the screen for our guest, Dr. Anthony Fauci, who runs the National Institutes of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. We're talking specifically about the H1N1 or so-called uh, swine flu. We'll take your calls in uh, just a moment. Dr. Fauci, speak more about the trials. You're saying they're basically underway. Right. How will they work? What else do you hope to learn? How long does that process take? Well, the process takes about a couple of months. Uh, these are vaccines that are made by the same companies with the same process that we do each year with seasonal flu. So this is something that we are quite familiar with. So it isn't a brand new process. But since it is a new virus and we've made a new vaccine for it, quite similar to the other vaccines, you want to ask some fundamental questions. And you want to ask it in a limited number of individuals of various age groups. First question is, in the immediate sense, is it safe? Does anything strange happen when you inject it? Very unlikely that that will happen, but you want to look anyway. But importantly, you want to know what the right dose is. Do we do the standard dose that we generally do during the seasonal flu, which we give every year? Would you need a higher dose? Would you need one or two doses? Hopefully, we're going to get that information within a period of a couple of months which would coincide with what would be the time that you would want to launch an implementation program for vaccination for the, quote, new novel H1N1. The seasonal flu implementation is going to go on like it does every year anyway, because that's something we do no matter what happens. So the, is there enough in infrastructure out there to manufacture enough vaccine for when you need it? The answer is yes, in general. Not, there's not enough infrastructure to get a vaccine dose for everybody in the world, and that mm -hmm. will never happen, uh, I, I don't think, from a f practical, feasible standpoint. But in the preparation uh, for the pandemic uh, uh, possibility, we funded, we the federal government, funded uh, a number of companies to get the uh, infrastructure in place to make enough vaccine to get us to where we would want to be were we to be hit with a pandemic flu. Some of the numbers from the CDC about the H1N1 flu, uh, the number of hospitalized cases uh, uh, here in the U.S., just over 5,500 right. deaths uh, reported at 353. Right. And uh, the total number of states and territories reporting cases, uh, would that be 